Uh, my name is Dan Dansbaker. I'm the owner of Dan's Lettering. I have a mobile lettering business. The main thing I do is gold leaf and graphics on fire apparatus. And I do a little bit of commercial work for people that still want the hand-painted traditional method of lettering on their vehicles. Originally started when I was going into high school when I was in junior high. I had an interest in artwork and hot rods and pinstriping and things like that. And then I discovered that there was a class at North Monco Votech that offered commercial art. I started in uh, business for myself and I did commercial signs and I did a lot of stock cars and then in the mid 80s I started to get a little bit of experience doing gold leaf and I pursued the gold leaf a bit and I was hooked up with a dealership and I didn't even realize it first how many fire trucks were out there and then I started getting into doing the fire trucks. I average about one a week for a normal size truck if it's a heavy rescue or a tower ladder sometimes they take about nine or ten days. First thing is the preparation then what we do is we take a pattern which is often hand drawn or traced off of another piece of apparatus to match it up and then we use a powder called whiting or a rouge depending on the color of the truck which transfers the image onto the truck and then with a brush is used to apply the varnish wherever your lettering or graphics are going to be and then after the varnish is applied you have to wait till it is in between tacky and dry and once the varnish is at the right tackiness, the gold leaf is applied. It's something that's been around for thousands of years. It was always considered the, um, the gold standard because it's one of the highest purest metals that's out there. When you do the gold leaf, the sheets come together and there's a, a slight seam there. And people used to look for that because that would show that it was authentic gold. The shadowing is then done the shadowing is done to either match the previous apparatus or if they want to do something special and then highlighting and then another coat of clear is applied over the gold leaf just for extra protection. I've worked with another guy, Rick Stoltzfus. His business is Stoltzfus Signs and Lettering. He's up in Hatfield and he graduated a year before I did and he runs his own business and does more of the vinyl and computer graphics and does a little bit of hand work but he's been helping me for probably over 30 years now. And we've worked together enough that we stay out of each other's way and uh, are able to be very effective and efficient on doing fire trucks. The main thing I'm concerned about a little bit is that the trade is kind of a dying trade and there's not a lot of young people that are getting into it. I'm lucky that the people that I learned from encouraged me to keep doing it when I struggled a lot because when you watch somebody that's got a lot of experience, it looks pretty simple. But then when you start doing it, a lot of it's in your head. But if you keep doing it long enough, then all of a sudden it kind of clicks. It's something that's a very enjoyable profession. It's nice when you start with a truck that has absolutely nothing on it. And then at the end of a week, it's all done up and people are very happy with it. And then when I see a truck that's being replaced that I did that's 15 or 20 years old and it still really looks nice and can tell that they have pride in their equipment.